A long time ago, Saturday Night Live used to be funny before they turned woke, and they also used to be accurate sometimes and make predictions about the future. Watch this clip from roughly 1978 about inflation and think about where we're at right now. Inflation is our friend. <laughs> For example, consider this. In the year 2000, if current trends continue, the average blue collar annual wage in this country will be $568,000. Think what this inflated world of the future will mean. Most Americans will be millionaires. Everyone will feel like a big shot. Wouldn't you like to own a $4,000 suit and smoke a $75 cigar, drive a $600,000 car? I know I would. But what about people on fixed incomes? They have always been the true victims of inflation. That's why I will present to Congress the Inflation Maintenance Program, whereby the U.S. Treasury will make up any inflation caused losses through direct tax rebates to the public in cash. Now you may say, won't that cost a lot of money? Won't that increase the deficit? Sure it will. But so what? We'll just print more money. We have the papers, we have the mints. I can just call up the Bureau of Engraving and say, Hi, this is Gemma. Roll off some of them 20s. Print up a couple of thousand sheets of those century notes. Sure, the glut of dollars will cause even more inflation, but who cares? Everybody will be a million. Now, obviously, that video was a bit of hyperbole, but if you think back over the decades, the magnitude of the cost of goods due to inflation has been insanely high. The increase, and if you want to take a look at the last CPI data from the end of February 2024, inflation was up 3.2% year over year. Housing is up still a lot. And the Wall Street Journal is saying on March 31st, inflation victory is proving elusive, challenging central banks and markets. So we're not out of this inflation yet. This is actually very much like during the Carter administration with sticky inflation, inflation continuing forward. And this might cause the Fed to reevaluate if they're going to cut rates in June. But with all of this being said, again, Saturday Night Live used to get some things right. And unfortunately, they got it right about inflation. The government has continued to print more and more money, and that is the cause of inflation is excessive government spending or excessive inflation is due to excessive government spending hey if you enjoyed this update hit thumbs up and subscribe we'll be back with more soon take care